What's up guys? So today I'm comparing two cameras side by side. So one is a full frame camera and one is a crop sensor camera. So can you guys tell the difference? Which one's full frame, which one's crop? So also on the full frame camera, we've got a cheaper lens while on the crop sensor, we've got a more expensive lens. So we're, I'm really trying to mix you guys up here. I think the lighting is better for this camera right now just because it's got this interesting background going on and for that camera I've just kind of got some dead trees. Okay so maybe that makes it a little more fair. Now I've got a better background over here on this camera and on this camera I've got dead trees. So. What do you guys think? Which is which? Which one is the Nikon ZF and which one is going to be the Sony A6700? So let me get a little closer, let you guys see the background separation. So, okay, so we're at f2 on one of the lenses and we're at f1.2 on another lens. So that definitely makes a difference as well. So on one of the cameras we're in S Cine Tone and the other camera we're in Neutral. So both of these have kind of a neutral picture profile going on right now. So I switched things up. I put both of them in just the standard colors so we don't have any picture profiles going on now. So maybe that will change everything. I don't know. I'll have to look at the footage. But I don't really like S Cine Tone that much. It, it looks ungraded to me. It looks like log footage or like Eterna out of Fuji. And I'm just not a big fan of that look. All right, so how do these picture profiles stack up? I believe that the 40 millimeter lens is just a little bit wider than the 27 because the 27, when you do that 1.5 times crop, it turns out to be a little bit over 40. So how does that look? All right, so hopefully you guys have guessed and you've written your guess in the comment section below, but I'm gonna go ahead and reveal that this camera right here that I'm looking at is the Nikon ZF with the 40 millimeter F2. This is at F2 and my face is completely covered in shadow. And this is the 6700 from Sony and this lens is at f1.2, it's 27 millimeters from Viltrox, and it's more of a professional lens. So, so I know the, sh so I know the shadows are kind of crazy with the tripods and that big pole back there, but I want it to be facing the sun because it's got really, because the lighting's really cool, the sky's kind of dark behind me, and I thought this would be the best way to do this shot. So this is the Nikon ZF, and I'm really testing this camera hard because I'm trying to see if this could be a good YouTube camera for me and for anybody else. But personally, I really care about this video. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. We're walking with a small tripod. So that's what the stabilization looks like on the ZF. So personally, I think I like the neutral better. I think the standard on this camera is just a little bit too saturated and too contrasty. My skin looks really pale, but everything else looks really dark. And it makes my beard really dark. So now we're back in neutral. How does that look? So I thought, what if the ZF is just worse because it's on a lower tripod? So I popped it up on the higher tripod to see how that looks. <laughs> I think video does look more pleasing when the camera is at a higher angle than the person that you're filming. So I think that definitely has something to do with it. Different angles. The light is, lighting is very important, but also the angle of the camera and the focal length. Like I look better on longer focal lengths than I do on wider focal lengths. Like on that 26 millimeter f2.8 I was using the other day on this Nikon ZF, I just look so much worse. So I definitely look better on a 40 or 50. One thing that's disappointing is this battery is worse on the Nikon than it is on the Sony. 
and that's an APS-C camera, but it has a big Z battery, and the battery definitely lasts longer, because this battery is about to die, and I haven't really been shooting on it that long, so I'm kind of disappointed in the battery life. Also the exposure, it's really weird. You kind of have to do manual exposure with this camera. The auto exposure just keeps messing up, so I'm manually exposing everything. And the sun keeps coming in and out of the clouds. So I think that Viltrox 1.2 just has this pop that I don't really see on the 40 F2 as much. There's definitely just as much bokeh in the background, but it doesn't seem to have that same 3D pop. All right, so I got some Mexican food to eat, so I gotta wrap this video up. We're just using the internal mic on the 6700 because I had the microphone on the ZF the whole time. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel, check out my other videos, and hit that subscribe button because we got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.